All right, guys, I'm going to get this out real quick. Um, I just graduated high school not too long ago, and I'm 33. It's John T. Boy. Hey guys, it's your boy John T. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, please do me a huge favor if you could subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Also, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. It will help me out a lot. The title, it is what it is. This is not clickbait. I'm not doing this just to get attention. I'm doing this to give you guys inspiration. Basically meaning is, my story is a crazy one. Um, back in 2008, well, let's go back further than that. 2005, when I was about 17 years old, I went to summer school so I could graduate early. I was trying to skip the grade. Hurricane Katrina came and it kind of messed up a lot, a lot of things for me in high school. I couldn't graduate early, lost most of my credits. The school that I went to was brand new at the time and when Hurricane Katrina came by, it literally wiped it off the map. It no longer exists. So all my credits were gone. They disappeared all of a sudden. So I had to repeat my junior year and I was it's kind of embarrassing to say I was turning 20 in my senior year. And public schools, they all take state standardized tests. In Louisiana, which I'm originally from, we take something called the LEAP test. I don't know if it's still called that, but back then it was called the LEAP test. And when I was in Texas, it's called the tax test. During my senior year, I was doing great. I was on the honor roll. I passed all my classes. I was pretty much exempt from all my classes. And what happened was the principal and assistant principal called me on the intercom asking me to meet them in the conference room. Now, I've been at that school for about two and a half years. I never set foot in the conference room. I, get, I feel like they gave me the special red carpet just for me to walk in there. But as soon as the principal started speaking, the assistant principal, which is a lady, she started crying. Evidently, they told me that I failed it by like one or two points. I was so close, so I couldn't walk with my class. And I'm thinking to myself, are you serious? Yeah, it was, I was devastated. I didn't want to be known as another dropout. One thing led to another, uh, my mother, she heard that there were private schools. Now, private schools, they don't take state standardized tests. And there was a school called Parkway Christian School was allowing students that didn't pass the tax test to walk with their class. All we had to do was just give them a down payment on the cap and gown, transfer our credits, and then boom, we'll walk with them, we'll graduate. The first red flag, on my way to the graduation ceremony, we had to meet everybody at a hotel, a hall in a hotel. I'm thinking to myself, why can't we just graduate at the pavilion like everyone else? But when we get there, there's a lot of kids, a lot of families over there, including mine. This this was like this was a the big thing. This is this seemed pretty legit. The school that I wanted to graduate from was called the Wilderness College Park High School. And um, that's where most of my friends graduated from and I wanted to walk with them. But I went to Parkway Christian School. I got my cap and gown. We went all the way in the back. They announced us alphabetically, and they gave me this. Diploma of Graduation. And then we all thought it was the big deal. Now, it's not in here. The diploma is right here. Right here. Now, the first thought came to your mind is, it looks real. It looks. It looks authenticated. Years went by, I'm in college. I go to University of New Orleans for music. I go to Berkeley College of Music, online courses for music production. Then I went to the Los Angeles Film School for music production as well. Back in 2016, since I was taking online courses, I used to go to the cafe every day just to study, just to do my homework. One day I go to the cafe, I'm sitting down, getting ready to do my, my classwork. After a whole month of studying, I was no longer logged in in the program. I come to find out I was kicked out. So I called my student advisor. I said, sir, I'm being kicked out of the program. Why? He said, yeah, your diploma has been flagged. I said, flagged for what? He said, we're not so sure. You have to call the Department of Education in Texas and find out what's going on. So I was kicked out of the program. I didn't have any access to my classes. I was supposed to get a MacBook and student equipment for my next class. And I couldn't get any of that. So I went back and called the Department of Education in Texas and they told me, well, the reason why your diploma has been flagged because it's a fake. And I told her the whole story about what happened when I graduated and she said, yeah, you've been scammed. 
She even said there were people in their 30s all the way to their 60s that called them that they found out that they've been scammed as well. Decades after decades after decades that people who graduated years ago found out they didn't graduate at all. I was devastated. I couldn't go back to school until I get to sort out. I didn't want to get a GED. I wanted to get a diploma. I was depressed. I was discouraged. I didn't want to go back to school. My mother told me one day, a few months ago, that in the newspaper, an online accredited high school, 100% legit, that was accepting locals to see if they wanted to go get their diploma for free. And I spoke to a lady on the phone. She was very nice. I will never forget her name. My name was Miss Freeman. She made me feel like she really did care. And all of a sudden, she said, hey, take these take these uh, prerequisites. It took like a month and a half for me to, so I studied every single day. I took one day off the whole entire week and I studied six days a week. I just took one day off. And before you know it, they said, hey, you can get your diploma quicker if you transfer your credits from College Park High School. I said, really? Because the courses that they want me to take will take about 18 months. So they said, nah, just give us your uh, credits, we'll pay for it, and we'll see what courses you need to take, and then boom, you might be able to graduate in a month, or probably less than that. And before you know it, they gave me a high school diploma. 100% free, 100% legit, 100% real. I went ahead and did it, and I'm 33 years old. Yeah, I took the old diploma, put the real one, the new one, in here, along with my credentials. Now, the moral of the story is, even though I hit rock bottom when I found out that I did not graduate after all these years, 13 years, I'm 33 years old. People think, oh man, you, you graduated high school at, a, at that age? Oh, you must be dumb. I don't care. What matter is that I did not give up. Years ago, there was a guy who graduated college in New Orleans who made headline news in New Orleans, graduated college at 70, I think. That lets you know that it's not too late to accomplish anything in life. Any goal that you have, there are no age restrictions. Yeah, I graduated at 33 in the comfort of my own home. A guy who makes music in his bedroom, and I'm proud of it. It takes a lot of courage and dedication in order to achieve something like that. I just want you to know that you could achieve anything no matter what it is. I just want to let you know that you could achieve anything if you put your mind to it. I don't want to make this video too long, but that's what I got to say. It's your boy, John T. Once again, please subscribe if you're new. And also, hit, hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'm signing off. I love you guys. God loves you more. Take care. Stay blessed. And peace out.